So I wanted to test your setup, your GPU, against various GPUs that you recommend. This user is playing Hogwarts, and he said that he usually gets 50 frames per second at 1440p on the 3080 Ti. But as soon as he turns on Ray Tracing Ultra, it goes down to around 20 to 30 FPS, and he doesn't want to use DLSS. So, you know, the 3080 Ti is going to have DLSS 2, which does give it a nice boost, but he wants to go without that. that brought me to an interesting question. He wanted to see how the 4080 would fare against his 3080 Ti. Let's check a bunch of GPUs and see how they do. Taking that metric, here's going to be the settings that we're going to be playing at. This is going to be 1440p. You can see right here, 2560 by 1440. I'm going to put NVIDIA DLAA on. This is going to be higher than TAA. You can get a few more frames, but this is the highest you can possibly go. No upscaler. No frame generation, of course. Let's turn off the NVIDIA um, reflex low latency. You can see all the other settings. And then here, everything on Ultra. As we go down, ray tracing on, all three of them, and Ultra quality. Let's see what we get here. This is going to be Hogsmeade, one of the areas that are really, really demanding. Let's just walk around. We can see we're around 45 frames per second, 43. We're not quite at 60 frames per second, as you can see. It's a little bit choppy. You can see the frame time graph isn't perfectly even, but 1440p, it is staying within the 12 gigabyte VRAM limit. The only thing we could worry about here is possibly the memory bit bus having an issue, but as we can see, the 4070 Ti definitely does better than his 3080 Ti, which is 20 to 30. We're way above 30 here. I mean, we just hit 38. Now we went down to 25 occasionally. This section of the game is definitely very, very demanding. So this is normal that it kind of really changes up like this. Overall, we could call it maybe like 35 to 45, it seems like, maybe 50. We're definitely under 60 frames per second it wouldn't really help him with his goal let's just see if we did turn on the lss i'm just curious exactly what would happen now this isn't exactly what he said but let's see if we put it on balance i just want to show you guys what the difference would be of course we got frame generation on and low latency let's put that on boost let's see what the difference is we're going to go from around like 50 frames somewhere thereabouts Look at that, 109 frames, 98. Look how much smoother it is. So maybe this is telling you to turn on DLSS. You may not have 3.0 if you have an RTX 3000 GPU, but look at the difference. This is incredible. I can't tell a difference graphically. It doesn't look any worse. In fact, it feels so much better. Look at that frame time graph. You don't see those lines anymore like before. The game is playing incredibly smoothly at over 100 FPS. So that's pretty incredible. What if we turn off frame generation and make it DLSS 2? Something that is 3080 Ti would definitely have. Let's see here. Frame generation off. Let's turn off NVIDIA low reflex. This is just on DLSS balanced. No frame generation. Let's see what happens. I think it's going to be somewhere in between. <clears throat> Look at that, around 55. But the difference is it's dropped to 34. Okay, so maybe... Regular DLSS doesn't seem to do nearly as much. We got some freezes here, okay. So DLSS 3 with frame generation made a huge difference. As you can see, the game is still struggling a bit with DLSS regular, you know, DLSS 2. It seems a little higher at times, but it's not really, and it's still kind of stuttering. Look, if we go back and we actually put frame generation back on to make it DLSS 3, 90 FPS and it feels a lot smoother, which you can also tell by that frame time graph. Remember before it was spiking? Now everything's much smoother. Look at that, up to 120 FPS. I mean, DLSS 3, this is actually, it turned out to be a good advertisement for DLSS 3, and I didn't mean to. I just wanted to show what it was doing, but look how much smoother it is. You can't tell me DLSS 3 isn't good. Look at this, much smoother. You're barely getting any of those jarring things. Look how much smoother it is. And look at that FPS, 118. Wow, that's actually a big difference. But anyway, this is the 4070 Ti. Let's see what how other GPUs actually do. Let's try another GPU. This time, it's going to be a mobile laptop 4080. The mobile 4080 isn't the same as a desktop 4080. It's going to be more like a, you know, a nicer 3000 series. But I'm interested to see how this will perform here. 
let's take a look okay so we're gonna turn off frame generation just like before we're gonna turn off any type of upscaling this is also gonna be 2560 this is actually by 1600 instead of you know 1440 just because of the laptop screen so now we should have the same settings as we did on the 4070 Ti I mean we're getting like 30 FPS maybe sometimes 45 42 so not really any better than the desktop 4070 Ti. The, the desktop 4070 Ti was definitely better. Look how unsmooth that this is. This has 12 gigabytes of VRAM as well, but it has a similar 192-bit memory bus as the 4070 Ti. Not as fast as the 3080 Ti. So you see it's kind of going all over the place. You get as much as 45 FPS, it goes down to sometimes 20, 15. So not really all that great of a result. DLSS, let's say without any type of frame generation. We're gonna put it on balanced. Frame generation off, so this is similar to what a 3080 Ti would be able to do, DLSS 2. So we jump up a little, now we're about 60, 50, 60, definitely a little improvement. It's still choppy, you can see by the frame time, and sometimes you get these little freezes. It's definitely better, look at that, 66, 71 FPS. Frame generation is on, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is on. Let's see what it does. Okay, all of a sudden, we're up to like 102 FPS. So actually kind of similar to the 3080 Ti. But look how much smoother it is. Much smoother. You're getting, it's not as smooth as the 4070 Ti was, but look at that. Much, much smoother. We're not getting as many jagged lines. You still do get some, but our FPS is staying solidly above 70 80 fps now he didn't want to use any type of upscaling but honestly looking at this game i can't tell that upscaling is going on and i don't really see artifacts the gameplay is just smoother and you don't need to have the lowest latency on, in games like this even if you're doing the wizard stuff but it's obvious neither of these two gpus can actually do it the way that he wants with no upscaling they just can't do it in the hogsmeade and this particular game you're going to need something more powerful than a 4070 ti